Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to discuss how best to set up a direct frequency response analysis in Wave FEA. Frequency response analysis is performed to determine the behavior of a structure when it is subjected to dynamic loading conditions like that in compressors, engines and even turbines. Typically, there are two methods for frequency response analysis. One's the direct frequency response method and the other is the modal frequency response method. And in most cases, the direct method will give you more accurate results, which is why we will be using the direct response for our analysis today. The first thing we have to do is go to the analysis type and change the setting to direct frequency response. Then we go to the units and change the units to the English system and then click OK. One more thing that I forgot to mention in the analysis types that we have to make sure the acceleration is checked. Now we go in and add the material data select the aluminum 7075 heat treated and then we click OK. Now we go into the idealizations tab select the solid elements make sure that the um, tab for add to analysis is checked and then click OK. Now we go ahead and mesh the model with a global mesh size of point 25 inch and make sure the element order is parabolic and uh, continuous meshing is unchecked and we click generate mesh. Once we have the mesh generated we'll go ahead and add a constraint to the model at the bottom We also have the option to go back into the constraints and adjust the scroll bar to change the view density of the constraints for better visibility. Now we go ahead and click on the loads in the command manager and enter the load in the FY direction of minus 100 pounds and select the inside surface of the hole in the model. Under the frequency table data, we select new table for load factors. Select load scale factor versus frequency and enter the frequency in the uh, table below as well as the load scale factor in the, in the column and you should see the XY plot like what you just saw now. Now we're going to go into the dynamic setup and um, for the frequency limits we're going to enter the the range, go to uh, free, click frequency range and uh, select the lower frequency, the upper frequency or the highest frequency and now in the number of points for the range we'd select 25 and click OK. Now we go in and edit the structural damping values. We we'll go in and put in 5% for uh, the damping value and then click OK. With this, now the pre-processing stage for the direct frequency response analysis is complete. Right click on the solver tree and click solve in NASTRAND. Once the solution is complete, right click on the results section and select edit. Under the subcases, go ahead and select step 26 and click on display to see the contour plot and the deformed shape of the model. 
In order to see the stress and deformation at a particular node, go ahead and select the nodes, node query. And uh, once you hover over any particular node, you can see the stresses and the deformation at that particular node. We can also select the um, XY plot and see the um, linear acceleration of a particular node by going into the XY plot, selecting the node ID. I'll select 3227 in this case and uh, go into linear acceleration and uh, show the XY plot and you can see how the linear acceleration versus the frequency at that particular node. And lastly, we can also edit the results. Click displacements from the result data, click display, and uh, this shows us the displacements. So in a matter of minutes, we set up our model, ran the analysis, and viewed the results. It is just that easy. For more tutorials, visit our website, www.wavefea.com. Thank you for watching.